welcome everyone tonight. Notice is hereby given of a regular meeting of the Board of Directors of the District to be held at 105 Port Road, Port Isabel, Texas, on the 27th day of March 2019 at the hour of 5.30 p.m. for consideration of the business of the agenda below. This notice is posted at the office of the district on March 22nd, 2019 at 2 p.m. in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act, Texas Government Code 551-041-551-050, not less than 72 hours prior to the time of the said meeting. We do have the presence of a quorum. Absent at this time, we have Jason Starkey and Dr. Adam Lalonde, who has advised that he <coughs> will be showing up late to the meeting. However, we still have a quorum. Uh, item two, invocation and pledge of allegiance. May please have everyone stand. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> yes, yeah, the invocation. The Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, please uh, bless us this day and let us have a, 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 a good meeting where we can learn and, and consider the uh, action items to uh, help uh, improve the uh, facilities for the district. Say the same thing. Thank you. Item three is invitation to the audience for public comments. That includes the staff, the board. <coughs> this time, would anyone like to address, discuss anything? Uh, I was asked if we could move the executive session item up. Uh, the person representing that is uh, visiting from out of town and due to travel has asked if we could move that forward. At this time, I'd like to advance to item 13, executive session permitted by the Open Meetings Act VTCA Government Code Section 551001 at sequence under Section 551071, consultation with attorney, 551072, deliberations about real property. Item A, a status update by legal counsel and consideration of action on existing litigation involving the construction of water plant number two. And item B, update on land swap between City of Port Isabel and Laguna Madre Water District Little League Maintenance Yard. If I may please get a motion to go into executive session at 5.32 p.m. So moved. Motion made by uh, Mr. Houston. Second. Second by Mr. Avalos. All those in favor, they are. We are in executive session. Uh, if we may please proceed, I please kindly ask that everyone leave the room except those that need to be here. I need a motion to come out of executive session at 6.03 p.m. So move. So move. Motion made by Mr. Avalos, second by Mr. Houston. Are all those in favor? Aye. They are. Item A, uh, a status update by legal counsel in consideration of action on existing litigation involving the construction of water plant number two. I need a motion to proceed as directed. So moved. Motion made by Dr. Lalonde. Second. Second by Mr. Avalos. Are all those in favor? Aye. They are. Any Aye. opposed? None. Motion carries. Thank you. Item B, update on land swap between City of Port Isabel and Laguna Madre Water District at Little League Maintenance Yard. A motion for no action, or there is no action. So we will resume the meeting, uh, moving back to item number four, consider and discuss for possible approval the minutes of the regular meeting on March 13th, 2019. I move to approve. Motion for approval by Mr. Avalos. Second. Second by Dr. Lalonde, are all those in favor? Aye. They are? Aye. None opposed, motion carries, thank you. Moving to item number five, general manager's report, audio and visual, audio and video update, Texas Water Conference. Yes, I just wanted to bring up the data on the audio video uh, that uh, we got more information that we needed and uh, we were working on it. And as soon as uh, we passed the information today on the scope of work and the process that, they, that, uh, that the RFP is requesting, that we're requesting. So we got it, thank you for bringing me that information that I needed. Because I, I needed some more direction on the minutes, how long. As uh, we, we try to figure it out ourselves uh, according to the, the, the video on, on the minutes and all that, and it was pretty hard to understand how long the videos were. Now we have it, all the stuff mm -hmm. in there. So I'm, I'm going to be working on it uh, this coming week with Enrique, and uh, hopefully we'll get something for the next board meeting to get it started. Very good. The second one that I have here is I just want to remind you about the Texas uh, Water Conference. I uh, did pass out, I uh, gave Mr. Uh, Gomez some information on some invites. Uh, I think Freeze Nichols has one, and, uh, and there's another one I can't remember the other company, but I uh, advise that you attend those. It's a uh, pretty good uh, uh, food and I guess entertainment for you guys. And that's all I have for right now. Thank you, Carlos. Yes. 
proceeding to six, consider and discuss possible approval of legal services firm recommendation for a professional service committee. I, I did uh, give you a memo uh, saying that uh, the board, uh, that we uh, had seven sealed packets uh, for the legal counsel, RFQs, RFPs, uh, March the 5th, and after professional services uh, committee got together and reviewed, uh, we uh, recommended that uh, Fire and Hansen, our existing uh, interim uh, firm, would be the one that would take the, the, uh, the I guess, the uh, legal counsel position. And uh, we wanted to uh, say that if you all can give me permission to go ahead and negotiate that uh, contract with them and take care of the contract so that we can have them on board. So move. Motion made by Mr. Houston. <coughs> Second. Second by Mr. Uh, Dr. Lalonde. Thanks. <laughs> are all those in favor? Aye. 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 There are any opposed? None. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank Welcome you. aboard and highly look forward to working with you. It's been a pleasure thus far. Hey, it's, it's an honor and uh, we understand fully uh, and, uh, our responsibility and I, I really Look thank forward, you, and thank, thank you for your time. <coughs> thank you. Thank you to Professional Services uh, Committee. Item 7, District Engineer's <coughs> Report, Capital Projects Update, and Potential Bond Election. All right, so on this one, I have the attachment with the updated schedule for 2019. And uh, as far as the Capital Projects Update, rather than to dive into uh, specific projects today, we're really more just uh, proposing a workshop on April 17th. Um, if that works for everybody's schedule, we're trying to set a time or um, so we can sit down and dive into potential projects in detail. I have a question. It seems like to me the uh, workshop and then your May 8th is awfully close together. I, yeah. It, it, I don't see how they can work. Okay. If you decide on the 17th what you're going to do, then you've got to put out for RF cues for you know I just don't see how you can well we don't I mean for professional services you don't necessarily have to go through the RFQ process it's more it would be a, a local fund our professional service but you still have to advertise yeah. for services what's the time I mean uh, but we talked about that, that uh, we already have an existing firm we, yeah, that just depends on, yeah, I mean, if, if we're going to use the advertisement we did for the Water Development Board project as, as our, uh, you know, method for securing the engineer and amending a contract, I mean, that, that that's an option if you want to, you know, stick with the same firm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the board's discretion on how to proceed. My question is, is this cutting it too close? Uh, I May 8th. I think in general for a 2019 election, it worked. This whole timeline is it's pretty rushed. Well, Except I know it's rushed, and I'm not happy about it because we've been talking about it for right. five months, and now we're just finally getting around to putting it down in black and white. Right. I mean, would we want to advance the capital improvement workshop another week, or I mean, it's just I mean that's kind of what we have in terms of trying to get things moving faster, or, or well, should we some of us are going to be out of town next week. Yeah, that, that's why, I mean, the, the tent ended up falling into place because next week is we're in Houston. The tent is a regular meeting, you know, where we don't want to get crowded with slime with too much information at the same time. Considering, Herb, that we are stuck with a fast timeline, it does it make sense to push it May 8th back more? Or should we, at what point here do we have to bite the bullet? Well, I mean, like I said, most of us are going to be gone the second through the fifth. Right. So, I mean, that would only lack, I mean, Thursday or Friday of this week or Monday of next week. I mean, do we have the time for the first as far as a notice? And okay. How about a workshop on the Monday the 8th? Will you guys be prepared when well, you have just got back? Well, 
they better have it and oh, they better have it. Yeah, I mean, it's really just uh, a lot of our capital plan that we already have in place. It's just, uh, I mean, there'll be some changes. It's very rushed, in my opinion. Yes. And I don't want to mess. I don't want to mess this November deadline date election time. And then at the same time, after that, we still want to advertise and get proposals on a firm to do the engineer support. I mean, that's, that's really the, the request, not to just trust a firm and run with it. We want to go through an advertisement and, and go through a review for Isn't the, uh, I guess we're under the assumption that we are going to do a bond election in November. Is that it? Well, that, that's well, what I, I was do. under the assumption that we were going to. Have we talked about doing that? I yep. thought we had. We okay. have. We November was always the, the target time. May is was yeah, my, <coughs> May is unacceptable. My concern with uh, with doing it this year is that uh, well, as opposed to doing it in 2020, uh, would be that I think that you're going to have a better chance of passing a bond in 2020 because of the turnout. Let me I'll tell you why. Always has yeah, let me tell you why I disagree with that. The time the timeline of the impending failures of not being able to provide the potable water and not being able to put plant one online, that just postpones it another year um, and a half. Yeah, no, I, I, and I, I don't think, start date. Yeah, I, I don't that. think we can. Yeah. Uh, no, I understand that. Longer than that, probably about three years. What, time, whatever time, it is, time, I mean, I think we would, I think think we would be, passed. I think we would be remiss in putting it off that long we know the, the problem. Right. No, I, I if you understand. lose a bond can, in 19, can you do it again in 2020? Yes. Yeah. But it doesn't yeah, you can do that. <laughs> 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 yeah, the last take one in, was defeated. You have to yeah, take into no consideration more. why you're losing the bond, you know, and so um, that, that's my only concern. I would say let's do the 8th, the workshop on the 8th. Yeah, what time would work best for everybody? The morning is best for me. Later is best for me. Five thirty or six. Yeah. Yeah. Got to work. Five thirty. Yeah. Fine with me. Yeah. <coughs> That's assuming uh, Mr. Starkey is available. Also, I'd like you need the full board to have that discussion. In my opinion, so subject to. Uh, I text him here while we're finishing our meeting, so we can. Yeah, if we get confirmation through text. <coughs> Okay, let's keep on going. We can come yeah. back and revisit that. Right, so that's, that's, let's that's got, hey, date. look, if this deadline gets messed up, it's your fault. Well, I'm going to put everything on your shoulders that right. if this thing doesn't get done, well, we're going to look, I'm going to look for someone to pay the well, piper. Well, so, well I, I, I advise an engineering firm to just be procured without going through a proposal in RFQ. I mean, if we want to use it, if, if we can, if we can legally do that, that's fine. Yes. It's yes. just enough to get the bond issue. Okay. Yes. But no goofing off, Charles. No, I agree. All right. So, well, we'll get into that discussion right. separately. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I guess that concludes the engineer's report. And then yes. We'll confirm them if we can have that meeting with full form on the Okay. Or thereabouts <coughs> the, that week. Uh, that week, yeah, sometime during that week. Yeah. So we actually have a regular meeting on the 10th, if at a worst case. No, we won't be here the 10th. Oh, that's right. Which comes to the next conclusion. Are you going to postpone that meeting? What are you going to do? No, with no. The meeting the no, Texas Water's the 3rd. Uh, April 2nd through 5th is Texas You're Waters. right. We'll be here the 10th. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's, it's just uh, Just do the workshop. Yeah, just do the workshop on the 10th. Uh, rather than that, I'd recommend the workshop at 5.30 to 6.30. You need an hour. How long time do you need for the workshop? Can we do the Can we do the workshop on the first? Yes. Yeah, you don't have time. You got to be. It's seventy-two hours. What packet do we need? It's just a notice of workshop. Mostly no backup, and then we'll just hand it out at yeah. the meeting. Or what's wrong with that? It's only one agenda. All right. I mean, for the most part, I would think it's going to be the the December workshop material. And then we're thinking of adding the uh, elevator storage things, yeah. and we also want to get a discussion on Long Island Village involved. Yeah. That's another element. Well, let's do it on the first. That gets us, that moves gives us two extra weeks. I'm fine. I mean, I have no problem. What proposed day? Uh huh? On the first. Proposed day. I'll make it work. Yep. Yeah. 
April Fools. What if Jason can't be here? Can we? Can we, we still have it. Just as it just it's best to have a full board for the <coughs> discussion. All right, the All first Saturday. at five thirty. All right, you got an extra okay. week, Charles. All right. So when when is the date this week? The first. The first night. <laughs> okay. He, Jason says he can be here for the first. Okay. Right. What so what time? Five thirty. Five thirty. April first. <coughs> So I guess moving on. Oh, sorry, I guess that concludes the engineer's report. Yes. All right. We're moving on to item eight. Excuse me. Consider and discuss for possible approval of professional engineering services. Excuse me for sanitary uh, sanitary sewer replacement project on Tarpon Avenue, Port Isabel. All right. And just to give you an update, Tarpon Avenue is one of the city streets that got approved on the Port Isabel bond election. Yes. So they have this uh, paving schedule, and we have a sewer main that's in need of replacement um, under the pavement. So we, we've already had AGH complete the survey, and we're just recommending the approval of the engineering services to get the plant set, you know, on the shelf, and, and so we can replace that sewer main and stay ahead of the paving. Comments, questions, board. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion nice. made by Mr. Houston. Second. Second by Mr. Alvarez. <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. They are. None opposed. Motion carries. Thank you. Excellent. Moving to item number nine, consider and discuss for possible approval of amendment of the Pods Horizon Odor Control Covers for Isla Blanca and Andy Bowie Wastewater Treatment Facilities. All right, so this is an amendment to the PO that we uh, approved on January 23rd. On March 14th, 2019, we did the install at Laguna Vista, and we went there and did site visits at Isla Blanca and uh, Andy Bowie. And based on those site visits, we modified the layout that was you know, used to price out the purchase order in uh, in a, that got approved January 23rd. And so, you know, at, at the same time at Laguna Vista, you know, we're still troubleshooting, trying to tie down, because we have the covers on there, but they're, it's not sealed, so we need to kind of keep troubleshooting to stop that odor that's, that's still out there when you go there and, and walk around the, the issue, screens. The issue that we have with it, I went and looked at it with Charles yesterday, and the, the problem that we have is that we thought we'll set it up exactly like the manufacturer suggested, but it doesn't sit properly. So you're still getting gases leaking out. So uh, after looking at it for a while, I think we can find a solution. I think that there's a way to fix it internally. Uh, and I wanted to just hold off and not take any action on this until we figure out that we can sit those brakes down properly and create a good seal. Uh, and then we can commit to purchasing the product because we really, I mean, if we made an assessment, it was that it does, it's not working because we could smell it right at the moment we got there. So um, I would just suggest we put this off until we seal that properly, that little pilot that we have over there. And then if we figure out, okay, the product is working the way it should, then we can commit to buying some more for the other plants. Are these gaps on the side, I guess? or Well, they're, they're, you know, the problem is that it's a, the member, there's a membrane and, and then there's a heavy, thick plastic sheet that goes, that suspends it, that holds it up. And that attaches to the grate uh, with little plastic ties. I mean, it's real chintzy. But, I mean, he set it up exactly the way the manufacturer said. I think it's just, it's not good. We need to, we need to set it up properly so the grates are flat and there's no, you know, because on the corners, that plastic keeps it from sitting down because it's too thick. Yeah. So it's, it's just, and you can trim it. They say, well, you know, you can trim all this, but then you have all these little plastic ties exposed that are over time are going to break. They're going to, the, the, that uh, chemical uh, gas is going to break down that plastic. You know, it's just, it's not a good application, to be honest with you, but yeah. they don't, they don't give you much to go on. And so I say let, either we figure out a way to <coughs> suspend those, and I think there is a couple of ways you can do that to suspend them right underneath the grate where the grates are flat and you don't have an obstruction like the, the way it is right now. You got plastic, you know, coming over on top of somebody could trip over that. It's not a good application. Yeah, There's no fault of ours. It's just the manufacturer really doesn't give you anything. The other thing is that we're having to buy this product in Canada. And I'm thinking there's got to be somebody in the States Domestic. that has it, you know. And so uh, I think Charles did find a dealer. Here, local. Uh, well, actually, this new uh, um, uh, 
Water, Water Ted, which is the Javier Santiago, is that a McAllen? He's actually a local rep for this product. Yeah. And so he found so out that there are yeah, the, the The warranty, I didn't care for the warranty. It's not a very good warranty, but uh, I think if we're going to give the product a fair chance, we need to find a good application first and then test it for a little while before we commit to buying more. Yeah, because there's a there's that location where we're sampling, so it's still open. And then the whole perimeter, because on a, on a standard application, which is not what we did here, what we did here is we attached it to the fiberglass grating. A standard application would have batten bars with silicone, and that perimeter would be sealed. And right now we don't have a sealed perimeter. So, you know, that that's just, it's it's not it's not creating a seal. The gas is basically having its right. uh, pass to get out. Yeah. And we did have a conference call today, Tom and I did, with um, with Leif and just, you know, troubleshooting how we can resolve the problem. And so it's it's more, I mean, we're planning to buy some neoprene and have, you know, uh, um, you know some bars that we can apply so we can get the seal around that perimeter. And then we'll do a tap in the pipe so we don't need to be sampling where we, where we have that opening right now. So we can seal that with the carbon filter. And so we have a plan in place, you know, and also bolting down the grating to this, um, you know, with silicon versus having them just kind of sitting there where they can just pick up with a, with a pressure and, you know, you lose your, ideally, <laughs> your control. I mean, ideally it would be great if, because uh, I did some, I saw some different products that are available, which are like screens, you know, that they just, like a little canopy, they just roll over in and out, you know. That would be ideal, but it won't work for our situation because we actually walk over those, so. We just need to find a better way to install the product and then yeah, give it a fair see. chance to see if it's going to work. Well, I'll go along with this recommendation to table. I'll make yeah. that a motion. Yeah, just just not take any action because we it's going to take more than yeah. two weeks to figure out. Right, so not no table, action. just no action. No action. But but at the same time with our operations, we'll proceed with sealing, you know, buying the new opening, getting it sealed up. Figure out a way to get that, that, that opening that's in, the, that's in place right now. Okay. No action. Moving on to item <coughs> 10. Yeah, item 10. Uh, consider oh, consider sorry. and discuss for possible approval uh, meter agree uh, matter agreement with Freese and Nichols Inc. and Professional Engineering Services for lift station number 25 rehabilitation, State Highway 100 Gravity Main Route Study and Force Main uh, Assessment. Right. It is a master agreement. I'm just going to apologize yes. for that. <laughs> so, That's uh, what I thought. So, yeah. So, so I mean, Freese and Nichols is here. I mean, really to... To wrap up, lift station 25 is one of our 18 lift stations that was identified in our project, but we're down to one pump. The, the, there were two pumps there, one burned out in February. So we're trying to advance this accelerator ahead of uh, the remaining part of the job. And then while we've been in that vicinity, I mean, there's, uh, there's a lot of businesses from HEB to Walgreens that are on private lift stations. So, you know, we're looking at the ability to run a gravity main through there and be able to take all those private lift stations out of service because they tend to be a, just a problematic spot. And then also uh, force main assessment wasn't addressed in, you know, our, our uh, project description to TWDB, but it, you know, it really is a critical part of making sure your pump stations are working is the pressure, you know, the, the, the main that you're pumping it through, you know, assuring that component is addressed and you know, restored into a good condition, you know, because it kind of helps, you know, have your pumps in a good performance by having a clean pipe to, to push it through. But uh, Free Snickers is here. If you want to give any presentation or description on the contract, I mean, we can have a little more discussion on it. But Good afternoon. I'm Charles Kachurka. I'm the project manager for Free Uh You know, just to elaborate on what, what uh, Charles had already mentioned, uh, you know, we got two Charles that caused, caused a lot of problems on the uh, teleconferences. But, uh, you know, with the, the pumps coming out, going out on the uh, station 25, obviously we want to try to expedite that to get two pumps in place where we have some redundancy. Um, and so that's where we're moving this ahead of uh, the main uh, water development board project. Uh, looking at it, we, we discussed, we went out there, we visited the site uh, several, about a month ago. When we actually visited the site, we noted all the deficiencies, things that we can improve. <coughs> Uh, met with, with David, you know, talked about how we can improve operations, not just what, what we need to improve from the TCQ standpoint and improve efficiencies on the pumps, but also how we can make it uh, uh, more efficient for them to, to operate the, the lift station itself. Um, Charles mentioned about the force mains. When we look at the, the lift station, we can look at the pumps, we can look at corrosion, we can look at the, the wet well and how, it, uh, how it's ma being maintained, but the second half is the force main. We can put brand new pumps in, but if our force main has reduced capacity, which they do get over time, you know, you have you start out with a pipe 
you know, with a with a diameter of this, and then over time you have grease and tuberculation, and you end up with a smaller pipe. And we kind of did a, a preliminary evaluation uh, where Charles and, and David they installed a flow meter and a pressure gauge on the discharge piping. And based on that, this is all pre-engineering that we we're, we're trying to hone our scope, and, and so we can be efficient. But based <coughs> on that, what we were seeing is that we were seeing a lot higher pressures based on the flow that we were getting out of the pumps. And what that kind of indicates is that, hey, we've got a reduced capacity in our force main. So whether it's uh, grease or regulation, partial collapse or something like that, but it's indicating that we're not getting the efficiency out of our force main. And that's why we've included the, the force main evaluations and the force main cleaning, not just for loose station 25, but uh, force main 10 as well as uh, loose station yeah, let's say four. Laguna Heights to Woody's Lane and then uh, Second Street to Woody's Lane. That, that's part of this proposal. Right. Um, from, a, from an evaluation standpoint on the force pains, we've got a company that gave us a, uh, an estimate on it. It's an estimate we, we included as a supplementary item to us. They're going to come out once we get under contract. They would come out. They would give us a final proposal of what, it, what they think it's going to cost, but they kind of give us a, an idea that we've included in our, in our fee. So, and then we also talked about the evaluation of uh, collecting all those small lift stations from those businesses on uh, uh, Highway 1, or SH 100. I understand that's causing some operation issues in the past as far as them pumping into that existing force main, and so trying to convert that to a gravity line. Again, we were trying to be efficient with our with our fees and everything, so we've already done some pre-design initially. Everything looks like it's going to work. Um, we do need to do a little bit of survey to make sure that we can get under some some uh, storm drains on SH-100 to make it work. But uh, from all initial counts, it looks like it's going to be a, a, a workable deal. So what we end up with is a more solidified plan as well as cost that maybe you'll come to get in the future as a, as a future uh, CIP project. Okay. So this, this is going to address some of the issues that we're having with the more businesses coming into this area here that are loading into that system. Is that going to, that's what we're trying to address? Right, and the sizing we would account for commercial development. Yeah, more right. more development coming into that line. Make sure that the line is sized correctly, where they don't have to install their own lift stations, where they can just gravity feed into that line. Yeah, they're private pumps that you know tend to tend to fail and cost bills, and so it's trying to eliminate that whole component of your gravity system. Okay. Comments? So moved. Motion made by Mr. Houston for approval. Second. Second. Seconded by Mr. Avalos. Are all those in favor? Uh, they are. Any opposed? No. Motion carries. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Look forward to working with you. Item number 11, consider and discuss for possible approval of budget transfer of wastewater engineering for wastewater engineering. Right. And so to cover the, the authorization we just approved in item 10, we have to do some budget, budget transfers from uh, the odor control budget that was uh, originally slated for that dryer scrubber at the golf course. And then also um, the, we have to be healthy budget at, for the water plant too, uh, Sludge Lagoon. So we're just proposing the transfers out of those accounts to fund the Precinct Nichols uh, effort. So moved. Motion made by Mr. Avalos. Second. Second by Mr. Houston. Are all those in favor? Aye. Uh, right. They are. Any opposed? <coughs> Any motion carries. Thank you. Excellent. Item 12, consider and review expenditures for March 1 through 15, 2019. I get a motion for acknowledgement yeah, for all of them. Motion made to acknowledge by Mr. Houston. Second. Acknowledged by uh, Mr. Avalos. <coughs> All those acknowledged? acknowledged. Yes. <laughs> they have. Uh, moving on to item 13, we've already done. And item 14, consider an action on executive session, we've already done. And item 15 is adjourned at 7, 6.30 p.m. <laughs>